okay next uh, <coughs> layer masking right after uh, a vector masking the second is layer masking okay what is layer masking let us check <coughs> sorry so open any picture okay uh, there the pictures here i'll take any uh, background okay let us <coughs> let us take this one okay layer masking for the um, layer masking first uh, type text any text okay uh, suppose uh, and then same name i'm typing a layer masking right suppose i want uh, different font <coughs> bit uh, thick font bold yeah okay let us take this one yeah it is in bold only okay uh, so in options bar i'm giving the tick mark so you are confirming the text right <coughs> and suppose uh, color can be any color for timing you can use uh, any uh, a text can be okay but i want to increase the size uh, font size so by double click on that will increase the size here by typing the number or otherwise control t on keyboard okay control t means transform tool we are using right by pressing shift increase this <coughs> size say so, okay the tick mark i'm confirming so here uh, i want to make it in a uh, two lines right so what i'll do press and text and enter here right so now it is it is in two line i want to change this in a uh, central element right central element and now drag here and increase bit more bigger <coughs> yeah this is nice now we want to add uh masking right so for that what i'll do want to add mask to a text so observe here in the layers uh, drag that layer masking text below to picture so your picture must be <coughs> on top and the text is under layer right so to add the layer mask you have to select the uh, below layer means text layer so how to select the so select means mm, <coughs> not this selection <coughs> by pressing the control by pressing the control and keyboard click the t symbol right in la layer panel the layer in active layer text layer by pressing control click on the t now it is selected your layer is in selection right selected it is then what you do come to the top layer that means picture layer okay then uh below the layer panel bottom see observe my follow my cursor okay uh, there is a fx beside the fx there is a, a layer mask okay layer mask click on that okay <coughs> it is added layer mask okay uh to avoid the transparency empty background here we have to add one new layer suppose here i want to add new empty layer okay 
So here I am clicking for the delete layer beside there is a plus mark showing click on this yeah created empty layer you drag this down because we are treating as a background layer <coughs> okay here we have to fill color yeah I'll take uh, suppose I'm using eyedropper tool pressing by pressing the eye eyedropper tool and I'll take any uh, a color suppose this is the color I'm using here if you observe here in foreground it is showing the same color right then I'm using shortcut to fill the foreground color I'm using alt backspace from keyboard press alt and use backspace <coughs> okay it is nice suppose here uh, in masking G it is a uh, Covered in this, so for that reason, what I'll do, I'll take bit shade dark color, the same but uh, dark color, and use the same alt backspace. Okay, yeah. So this is what a uh, layer masking. When you move this, uh, if you want to move this, see it is. Uh, divided because your text is here and you you are moving this a mask right so control chat so what you do if you want to edit this inside picture if you want to edit inside picture uh, from the active layer mask layer there is a, a chain link button showing disconnect that <coughs> disconnect that and click the uh, image and with the move tool okay inside a uh, interesting uh, portion picture from the picture any interesting portion you can uh, drag into your area actual area your area means your liked area right so this is yeah this is right so again uh, connect the link so this is a uh, layer masking <coughs> and for layer masking not only for the text even you can add for the images also right so let us check how to uh, add layer masking for uh, image okay again from file open so from here I want to uh, take any uh, image Suppose some interesting image I want to take. Mm, okay. Let us take any any picture. <coughs> yeah. I'm not finding the good picture here okay any any picture suppose I'll take this so open here so uh, this is the picture right down from here what I'll do I'll use suppose this space okay and open this is the image now I want to uh, use only the uh, model face not the white background right so what we'll do we have to remove the background first so by uh, using this background eraser tool right I told you so background eraser tool is <coughs> very important to remove <coughs> very uh, detailed uh, hair from the background that to in particular uh, color any color right so first what you do uh, select this one sampling ones must have been sampling ones and the limits in discontinuous in tolerance value between uh, 50 and uh, uh, 60 right okay here I'm planning 60 and uh, increase the brush size increase the brush size okay and now by pressing the left 
mouse we are trying to remove all the particular uh, hair background right so this is to understand uh, about this brush tools sorry uh, this eraser tool you check with the layers i explained about the layers layers and uh, all the tools so you can check my previous uh, videos then you will understand right so i explained deeply all uh, our tools the left side tools all tools from tools already i gave clear explanation about uh, <coughs> these eraser tools different different uh, erasers okay okay now add here one background here empty background drag this down and fill with uh, some any background color okay <coughs> yeah here this i want to uh, remove now so this is very easy i'm using this uh, magic wand tool and delete and use magic wand tool and delete and uh, control d and here use this one and uh, delete and control d right suppose here something uh, some portion is cut here so i'm using eyedropper tool and i'm using brush with this brush you can add this like patch like okay ready this is my image right so drag this image and drop here drag this image and drop here and control t to reduce this pick size reduce this pick size okay yeah okay <coughs> next uh, uh, what i'll do i'll add uh, a masking to this right so what i'll do uh, drag this layer down okay drag this layer down i want to add a mask to this uh, picture with this picture okay so then what i'll do uh, select this one and come to the top layer and use a mask button here right see mask is added but what happened here without uh, details from the face we are not finding anything right so for that what i'll do control d d select what i'll do here uh, i'll take the duplicate of this picture so control j okay i'll do one thing otherwise because this picture is uh, i think it is not suitable uh, for this so i'll take any interesting picture so let us say this one yes fantastic right so now drag this picture here yes here very nice not this one i'm sorry yeah mm, this you remove first from here yeah yeah uh, from window arrange space yeah here it is so drag and drop here okay and then from windows again arrange oh. and consolidate all two tabs okay this is right so now what i'll do control t i'm using okay keep this here and increase the size okay next what i'll do uh, i'll rotate this picture right so control t i'm using see don't get con confused so simply i'm using this image model image and the background image right so already we use it here masking uh, for the uh, text okay the same way we are trying to add mask to the this background on this flower background i'm using this model right so model layer is top and bottom this is okay but i want to 
rotate this one control t transfer control t transform tool and right click on that and flip horizontal so horizontally flip give the tick mark we are confirming now what will do take the duplicate of this take the duplicate of this control j okay so we duplicate two images here and the background also i am taking the duplicate control j duplicate okay the first image layer of the visibility in the bottom flower layer is of the visibility okay now this is the uh, model layer drag and drop bottom okay i want to select this one select by pressing control by pressing control select here now your picture under the picture layer is selected and come to this top layer flower layer and use here mask button right see mask is added but see there is no <coughs> eyes and nose right to get that one what i'll do on the visibility of the top layer because already we copied a top layer it is added but see because it is a top layer under this a masked uh, portion is there to see this one i want to use a blends layer blends okay so layer blends about layer blends i'll explain clearly in a separate class for time being instead of a normal we can use layer blends these are the layer blends okay layer blends works between two photograph colors okay so here i'm using a multiply multiply is very nice so it is normal and this is dissolve a normal and dissolve both are same look like and here darken multiply color burn linear burn and darker color these are in the same group so they are all creating a darkness and here lighten screen color dodge and linear dodge and lighter color these are in the lighter side it is showing right so check the difference between the darker and the lighter and this is the overlay <coughs> overlay works in the top layer mostly so these are all the mm, within the same uh, group so it shows the same result the difference is look like a uh, negative film right so difference and negatively is creating the uh, blindness and the hue and saturation the maximum that uh, the tint of color here it is showing hue means the main uh, colors okay and these are the uh, blends layer blends so layer blends works between two photographs here it is the photograph i symbol i'm using the bottom there is a flower uh, design is there a flower face the different different colors are there yellow orange and white and green so with these colors the top from head colors are blending right so for the all the pictures same result don't expect it depends on the pictures and within the colors it is blending right so right now i'm using the multiply see multiply i use a beautiful uh, effect it is created right we use a layer mask uh, but uh, after that what we did i duplicated the same uh, the model layer and used the multiply right here with layer mask combined with the multiply right okay next we already duplicated this uh, flower layer here right see the uh, visibility on this now see this is the uh, final uh, uh, result okay so this is the layer a masking now what i'll do combine these two by giving the link okay and drag and drop here here drag and drop here and now see this is your layer masking now see it is a uh, beautiful right here if you want you can add uh, any colors uh, different colors 
otherwise you can leave it as it is here or otherwise you can come here and uh, place here 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 whatever it is okay it is here i'm uh, using <coughs> okay this is the uh, layer masking layer masking is very simple see top layer photograph layer on top uh, for for which uh, portion you are adding uh, masking you drag down okay and there is a uh, mask button here click on that your mask is added in the same way for the photographs see this is the photograph the head portion is the photograph here is the photograph right remove the background and get this one and uh, place over on the uh, flower uh, one and added mask right because ma as add, mask added uh, the eyes nose and the and the details are not visible for that already duplicated this one right and add the uh, multiply mode right so multiply mode i used okay and then already uh, duplicated the background uh, the flowers on the visibility of this right and of course these are the a layer masking for the text right so this is a uh, layer masking right next uh, i'll explain um, clipping mask 